Hi, my name is Alvin and welcome back to the North Zone ITC training video. Alright, today we're going to learn how to actually uh, customize a very beautiful t-shirt design using Photoshop. Okay, first we need a t-shirt template. So this is actually the, just for us to know uh, roughly uh, how will it looks like at the end of the design. Okay, next what we need, we need our picture. Alright, go to internet to look for picture. Basically, you can uh, use any picture you want to create this stencil design. Alright, it's actually very popular. What I did here is I already uh, cut out the picture. This is the original picture. Alright, basically I've cut out the picture. What we need is just uh, the Autry Happen picture. Alright, over here. Okay, uh, if you do not know how to cut out, okay, go, please go back to look for my older videos, which I've already uh, taught actually uh, to cut out the picture using a pen tool. Alright, next, what you're going to do, we're going to select this image and we're going to drag it over. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you notice, these are all the anchor points. What you're going to do, you're going to enlarge it. Hold on to your shift key. Remember when you're uh, adjusting any Im images, hold on to your shift key. You're going to drag. Okay. You're going to drag the picture. Hold on to your shift key and we're going to drag. Something like this. And once you're happy, enter. Remember to always uh, label your layers. Okay, we're gonna call this image. Okay, next what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna duplicate this image. We're gonna close this. We're gonna call this light. Next, I'm going to teach you something new today. We're going to go to images adjustment and go to threshold. All right, click on threshold. All right, and there you have it. Basically, it highlights the, the dark area, okay, the black area within the image. Okay, adjust it. Okay, maybe something like this. Okay, once you're happy with it, okay, enter. Next, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate it again, the image, put it on top, and we're going to call this dark. Basically, what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, create the highlights within the picture you see earlier. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to repeat the process again. Right, go to images, adjustment, okay, threshold. This time we're going to highlight more of it. Okay, don't worry, just slightly. Enter. Okay. Next, go to opacity. We're going to reduce. Do you have it? This is the highlights within the picture. It creates now it has the a bit of the you know effect within the picture. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you another trick which is called masking. This is what we're going to do. It's going to mask out this uh, dress with a pattern. So I just have a pattern down here. We're gonna mask it into a dress. Alright. So we just need to drag this thing over. Remember, we're gonna call it cats. Cats pattern. Okay, what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate a few. Going to merge them together, it becomes one image by itself. Next, what we're going to do? We're going to close this for the moment. All right, go, remember, go to your light area. Click on to on your magic wand, and just click on your dress. You notice that the dress will be selected. All right. Okay, I want it to be closer, so I'm going to go to select. All right, modification, contract. We're going to contract the selection a bit, maybe four. As you can see, it is closer. And next, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the the cats. All right, and we're going to come to at the bottom. You see this? Add layer mask. We're going to click on it, and basically, the design will be masked in.
it's that easy all right do try it at home all right it's very very easy uh, easy and simple you can actually uh, customize your own school t-shirt and design whatsoever all right it's very very interesting very easy to use all right any question again you can drop me an email at the bottom hope to see you again thank you bye bye